this particular playlist we're looking at speed, distance and time problems. I will put a full uh, description of this particular problem into the description below. Um, but essentially it deals with somebody who's going from Durham to Newcastle on a train. Uh, on the outward journey it takes 12 minutes and they travel at speed 108 kilometres per hour. On the return journey it takes them 15 minutes and the question asks us to work out the speed on the return journey. Okay, so the first thing is we need to work out the distance because in order to calculate the speed here, we need to know the distance and the time. So the information that's been given to us allows us to work out the distance from the first bit of information. So uh, we'll have a look at that. But the first thing that you need to do with all of these is to make sure that you're working with the same units. So at the moment we've got 12 minutes and we see here we've got kilometres per hour. So we need to convert that to um, hours. So that's 12 out of a group of 60. So if I put that into my calculator then, that's going to give me, I'm just using a calculator, it's going to give me one-fifth of an hour. Or if you like, it's taken me 0.2 hours. And it's really important with all of these that you do this conversion to make sure that you're talking with the same unit. So similarly with the return journey, it's 15 out of 60, so that's 0.25 hours. So provided you've got this as part of an hour, then you're able to calculate. So on the way out, we're looking at working out the distance using 0.2 hours and 108 kilometers per hour. Well, if we have a look at this formula here, it means if I wanna work out the distance, I just multiply the speed and the time together and bear in mind this is on the outward journey okay so the distance then is going to be the speed which is 108 multiplied by the time which is 0.2 hours okay and if i put that in my calculator again that's going to give me 1.8 times 0.2 is going to give me a distance of 21.6 kilometers. Okay, well it's the same distance on the way back again, so we can use that information to be able to work out the, t the speed, because speed equals distance over time. Okay, so the distance is 21.6, and the time on the way back is 0.25 of an hour. Okay, so again, I can't emphasize enough, you need to make sure that you've got the same units when you're dealing with these sorts of questions. So it's 21.6 divided by 0.25 is going to give you a speed of 86.4 kilometers per hour on the return journey. Okay, so a little bit slower on the return journey and it's taken a little bit longer to actually do that. Now that will answer this particular question. Hope that's been okay for you. Please do have a look at the rest of the videos in the playlist. Please do add a comment below. I'll always come back to you. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.